Hey, this is not a litter box for you. You bad girl. Oh, baby girl. She thinks I built her six big, beautiful litter boxes. Look at all of these cat prints in here. They said I'd need chicken wire to keep out the rabbits. It's more for her. Natural fertilizer. Gross. <sighs> we just woke up, guys. And I figured if I don't start filming right away, I'm not going to do it. I haven't filmed in about a week but when I do wake up I'm probably like a lot of you you check your phone you look for your notifications see who texted see who called and I've been getting a lot of emails from you guys checking in asking me where I've been because I haven't uploaded in over a week and um, so yeah I've had a bit of an interesting week big giant garden project started last week um, I, oh, I have an itchy nose. Ted, you're so fluffy. Um, I had a big uh, garden project all last week. Now, last year, I've done container gardening before, and so my intention this year was to do uh, a real garden in the earth. And so um, my stepfather came over last week with his rototiller and uh, tilled up a big portion of the yard and my boyfriend warned me that that was a really bad idea because it floods i'm like nah it doesn't flood i've been here for like almost four years i haven't seen flooding in the back well once we dug up the dirt and created a big mud pit back there it rained one day and it was literally a swimming pool so regroup and ted get your butt out of my face so i had to regroup and went and got uh, some wood and built some frames to have raised garden beds and so that was a whole day project of that and then I had to get a load of dirt delivered so that I could fill my garden beds and the baby girl cat thinks I built her six litter boxes and she's been digging in them and pooping in them all week. Ted likes to make a bed on my fluffy belly. <laughs> So then it was a couple of days of moving all of that dirt and shoveling it into the barrel and getting it into the frames. And I totally jacked up my shoulder doing it. And I think I tore my bicep tendon uh, where it inserts into my shoulder. And so I haven't been able to lift my arm for the last couple of days. So it's just been one step back to after another. And then to top it all off, Ted, um, I mentioned to you guys, Ted is a rescue. Ted is a rescue cat. I got him back in uh, January, and when the people who brought him to the rescue place that I got him from, he was in really bad shape, and he had to have all of his teeth taken out except for one. He had eyelid surgery because his eyelashes were growing into his eyeballs, and he has a really bad bite wound on his neck. So we're talking four months already of trying to heal this bite wound, and it just hasn't healed. I've brought him to the vet three times. So yesterday we went back for the third time. This He just kept scratching the wound open, and it just wouldn't heal. So poor teddy bear had to have surgery yesterday. So um, it's just been really a crazy week. And it's felt like more than a week, honestly, that all of this stuff has happened. So uh, I don't know. Let's see what my energy is like once I get up out of bed, have my coffee, have some breakfast, and uh, maybe I'll film something later on. There's a break in the weather. Today was crazy. It was sunny, then it was really dark, thunderstorms, wind whipping. Now the sun is out, so I've got to make a break for the compost before it starts raining again. Mm, the shoulder. Oh, the shoulder. Oh, ooh, it's actually nice out. It's so sunny, but it's supposed to start raining again. So I got to turn my composter. Ooh, it's wet. Yeah, he was right about it. It does get kind of swimming poolish out here. Woo, 
A lot of holes. This is my pile of compost. Hmm. What's with all the potato peels, eh? We're gonna go back in the kitchen and find out what I'm making today. So this is turning out to be the most random ADD vlog in the history of vlogs. Um, but it pretty much sums up what the week has felt like. I don't know about you guys, but it's just been a really kind of crazy, chaotic, emotional, up and down, turbulent kind of energy week for me anyway. And so that's sort of what this vlog is turning out to be. So just stick with me. Um, at least I got out of bed and took a shower finally. I mean, that hadn't happened in a few days. We're going to get back to normal next week. And I have a bit of a surprise for you guys. If any of you have been hanging out with me from the beginning, and I mean the beginning, like almost 10 years ago beginning, like way, way back who remembers that time if you do comment below i can't really let on to what's happening but there's some things in the works and it's pretty exciting and i think a lot of you guys are going to be really happy to um kind of take a walk down memory lane for real so stay tuned um it's probably gonna happen in the next week or so we're gonna kind of get it together and uh just fun stuff, fun stuff on the horizon. I think it's a much needed sort of injection of kind of old school stuff. I don't know about you guys, but what is going on on YouTube nowadays, just out in the world, like the general vibe of weirdness, for lack of a better word, um, I think it's gonna be quite refreshing to kind of do a rewind and go back to where it all started. But for now, bear with me through this total ADD blog you guys like it's just chaos all right let's see what I've got for you so I made this chili I had intended to show you guys how I was gonna make it on the last video but I didn't have enough time I'm doing all of this with one hand I'm gonna sit down and eat my lunch while I chat with you guys um, here's my little tofu sour cream And I've resorted back to Daya Cheddar Shreds because they're out of my Whole Foods 365 brand for weeks at the store. So this Daya Cheese Shreds, really not the greatest at all. So if you guys are newly vegan, try to stay away from this brand. It's really not the greatest. Um, it is one of the originals, but I would go for the Whole Foods 365 brand. There's plenty more delicious vegan cheeses out there. So let me go eat my chili and we'll chat. I already did eat the chili. We're in day quarantine, whatever this is, where I'm just at the point where I'm just like eating everything in the house. I'm not working out, especially since I hurt my shoulder. I mean, hauling that dirt and building that garden stuff was definitely a workout, but it's not the same as, you know, walking and doing cardio stuff. I mean, I guess it it's, doesn't make me feel the same. But um, yeah, I've just been eating a lot. I made um, my ch my famous chocolate cake recipe the other night. My boyfriend and I basically ate it between the two of us. <laughs> so yeah, mm, just been eating a lot. What have you guys been up to? <laughs> okay, so we're back with the waffle maker. I just made a batch of mashed potatoes and i saw this thing on facebook and i didn't look at directions i don't really know if there was any tricks to it but basically waffle iron mashed potatoes so it's gonna turn into like one giant crispy tater tot i hope like i said i didn't read directions i don't know who invented this i don't know if there's a blog post or a recipe for it 
but I'm going to try it with just some regular old mashed potatoes. Oh my god, you guys, that dog next door is insane. He just barks all the time. He's a total cutie, though. All right, let's see if this works. I usually burn myself with all the steam. Oh, it's so hot. It happens every time, and I never learned my lesson. Ooh, it might be working. Let's let it keep going. Holy crap, that might work. Alexa, stop. Stopped on Don't believe her. It was actually closer to 10 because I didn't start the timer until after five minutes. So this is going on close to 10 minutes already. And it's getting toasty. I just don't think I can get it out yet at this point. So I'm going to let it keep on going because I don't think I'm going to be able to get it out in one piece. So this is probably 12 minutes or so. And... It looks like it's definitely crispier on the bottom half of this toaster oven or whatever this thing is. I'm going to stop it there because, I mean, how long am I supposed to cook this thing for? I don't want to wait any longer. I want to eat it. Don't try this at home. I'm going to go read the directions too after this. That might have been a good idea. I always do that. I always think I could just do everything. Ooh, look, it worked. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. Giant tater tot waffle. I was going to put ketchup all over this because I love ketchup, like French fries, especially on tater tots. Like, I love ketchup. But I tasted a little piece of this, and it's really good. I don't want to I don't want to kind of ruin it with ketchup. Um, So, mm, let me see if I can find. I know I saw it on Facebook, but maybe if I just search like mashed potato waffle, I can see potato waffles. I can see if somebody actually did it. Oh wow, a lot of people did it. A lot of people did it. Oh, and a lot of people have done it for a long time. Actually, this goes back to like 2015, so hmm, who knew? This is new for me. And um, so they're calling them cheesy leftover mashed potato waffles. I'll go to the first one, which is from 2015. This is from Just a Taste blog. And yeah, she put cheese and chives. Let me see what she put. Oh, she put scallions and cheese. Oh, and flour. I was thinking that. I was kind of like, mm, I wonder if this thing is going to need some flour. But I don't want added flour to my potatoes so you could follow her recipe or just do what i did i mean she put eggs in hers too so obviously this was not a vegan recipe but i totally just did this with nothing but leftover well they weren't leftover i made them specifically so again mashed potatoes about six small to medium sized potatoes boil them up till they're soft add uh, about quarter cup of vegan butter Salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and about a quarter to a half, quarter to a half a cup of soy milk or any plant milk, and then get your waffle iron nice and hot and just do what I just did. You don't need the eggs and the um, flour. I don't want to put that extra stuff in mine, and um, I think they would taste delicious with cheese actually. So, this is a really good idea. I like it. I'm eating it. I'm trying to think what I could eat it with. I mean, they're just serving it kind of like this as a different spin on a side dish. Mmm, that's really good. I think you guys should try it. So, I'll link to a recipe. Actually, you could just search it like I did. I just searched um, mashed potato waffles, and you're going to come up with a bunch of different recipes. Um, yeah, don't even really need a recipe. Do like I did. Wing it. Wing <laughs> it.